สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to the first video of the Thai lesson series. Today you are going to learn about tones. As you already know that Thai language is tonal, so when you say a wrong tone, it can also mean different thing. So let me give you an example of three words that might sound alike, but they are not the same, and they all have the different meaning. The first word is cow. Cow. The second word is cow. Cow. And the third word is cow. Cow. Do you see a difference in the tone? Okay. The first word's meaning, cow, means white color. The second word, which is cow, cow, means The news, and the last word, cow, cow, means rice. As you can see, different tones makes a different meaning. In Thai language, there are five tones in total, which are middle tone, low tone, falling tone, high tone, and rising tone. Each one has a unique symbol associated with it. These are the symbols used in the phonetic system to help with your pronunciation. However, these are not the real tone marks in Thai script. So let's get started with the middle tone. Middle tone, it's very neutral, very flat, and it sounds like hmm, hmm. Okay, I'm going to use the word ga because it's like ah when you practice singing. So middle tone sounds like this. Ga, ga, ga. So no expression at all. It's like hmm, ga, hmm. Got it. The second tone is low tone. So wherever your starting point in the previous tone, the middle tone, you go a little bit lower. So using the word ga, middle tone ga. Low tone, ga, ga. Okay, think about the time when you're mad at someone. It's like the tone of anger. It's very straight. There's no, just go down. Just don't come up at all. Just like ga, not ga. No, just ga like that. Because um, when you're mad at someone, you don't say no. You know, you say no. No, no, don't do that. No, no, ga, ga, no, no, ga. Same, same tone. All right. Okay. So let's move on to the next tone. The third tone is falling tone. When you think about falling, it means that you have to be up somewhere in order to fall down. Using the word ga, falling tone sounds like this. กากากา So, do you see a difference? Middle tone กา low tone กา falling tone กา So it has a little bit of curve, right? กา Okay. When I think about the falling tone, think about the tone of realization. When you say, "Oh, I got it now," yeah, I kind of get it. Oh, oh, right, 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 right. When you say English, but that's the expression. It's like, "Oh, yeah, right." Ga, oh, ga, yeah. Okay, I just want you to try to <laughs> connect with the English expression. All right, you got it. Now let's move on to the fourth tone. The fourth tone is high tone. High tone, it's straightforward, but not going down. It's going up. Using the word ga again, it sounds like this. Ga, ga, ga. So the end of the voice, it's very kind of like light, and it goes straight up. It's not like Ga no, just ga go up like that. 
Okay, in this tone, I think about the time when we are confused, and when we speak English, when we are confused, we say, "Huh? What? What? Huh? Ga? Ga? Huh? Ga? What? What? Ga?" I hope you kind of get it. It's more like somewhere like confusion. Okay. So、um, practice that again. Ga, ga, huh? What? Huh? You got it. The last tone is rising tone, and rising tone is very easy for、um, people who speak English because when we speak English and we want to ask question, we use this tone at the end of the sentence. For example, really, really. Correct, right, right. So now think about this word. Really, correct, right. It's more like you ask for confirmation, right? So it's more like you you try to ask at the end of the sentence. Now using the word ga, the rising tone sounds like ga, ga, right, really. Correct, ga, right, really, ga. You got it. Great job! Now you've got all five tones already. I know it takes a lot of practice and a lot of listening skill to differentiate the difference of the tone. But we will practice furthermore. Now let's recap all the tones together one more time. Let's do two times for each tone. So. Follow me. Ga, 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 ga. Now this time, let's say each tone one time each. Ga, 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 ga. Great job! Now you have learned all the tones there is in Thai language. It takes a lot of practice in order to make it become your second nature for you to just like finally identify the tones right away when you learn new word in Thai, and it becomes very useful later on. So keep practicing. I also make another video for you to practice each tone and help with your listening skill. So check it out, and I will see you in the next video. ขอบคุณค่ะแล้วพบกันใหม่นะคะ Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. If you like this video, please subscribe and share with your friends. For more free resources to help you learn Thai, please visit onlinethaitutor.com. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.